spaceship Earth. Waiting. We didn't go on spaceship Earth. We didn't go on spaceship. We're waiting for some friends that we've never met in person yet. Mm. Our friends Alyssa and Matt. Matt. really special we're meeting them is because Alyssa was a viewer and she reached out going through the same IUI process at the same time same inf like exact same like almost to the date of the appointments for yeah. infertility and so we just really connected we were able to talk and she actually just announced today that she is expecting I've known for a while yeah but she, um, she put on the internet that she's expecting so it's out so there so we're not we're not announcing it for her but it's we're just super a really happy for her. special day to be meeting and like obviously gives us hope and I can't wait to find we don't we've never met them before so and it's the gonna second be like best thing about today is we're doing festival of the holidays I might get a I'm not I am I'm getting another potato knish when the doors to your flight open please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the under seat compartment this includes cameras purses hats and of course these little beauties <laughs> well, 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 I did not so Sarah doesn't tell me all the time when she makes plans with friends that we're meeting up with. Specifically, she never tells me if we have fast passes for them. I just assume that we are going to not go on the rides with them. And, but Sarah got fast passes. Here's Alyssa and Matt. Sarah matched up their fast passes and we got to go on Soren. But I'm so parched because my body instantly gets thirsty for Beverly when I walk in. And we've been in the park for like an hour and a half and we have yet to get. And Alyssa says she's gonna drink some with me. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Good. And they got us these things. I'll show you this later. It's coffee. Shh. Alrighty. Can't promise how much. See if you remember how terrible it is. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. You can have it. <laughs> okay, well, it wants to go. Get something to wash it out bad. with. <laughs> Say, I like this. Look at this hook up on the carrot. We got a peppermint cookie. Thanks, Tina. This is our first time walking past candlelight. Okay, we've been chit-chatting. Ooh, I deviated from the group. I, we haven't explained what Sarah's mom got me for my birthday. Well, it's getting me. It's a mocha pot, but we decided that it'd be easier than her buying it online for expensive, that we can get it from Italy, and that's how we're gonna get it. So I'm gonna go pick it up, but I have to rush because our friend's over there, literally across from Italy, and I have 30 minutes to get there and back. I didn't plan this out well. I had a choice because it was like 50-50. We were like directly across from Italy, and I didn't know if I should go left towards Mexico or right towards Canada, forgetting that candlelight procession was going to come out. And I know it's going both ways, but I have to pass America, which means probably the bulk of the crowd. I can do this. It's only 9 10. So I'm going to head this way, and right inside that door should be the mocha pots. So this is what we're thinking. This right there, six cup mocha express. Mission accomplished. Also rocking my birthday present from Christina today. Um, pretty awesome. Can't wait to use it tomorrow. I got the red one, which I think Sarah and I decided on the black one, but they didn't have the black one or the silver one. They only had red, but I like the red. But these are like supposed to be, these are from Italy, high quality made. I read online that like these are like, the company's 80 years old and like some families pass them down as heirlooms. So I'm literally going to go home throw away my coffee maker and make some coffee. Not tonight, but tomorrow. And it works out because our friends Alyssa and Matt gave us um, some locally brewed, or ro locally roasted coffee grounds called Blueberry Cobbler. Matt said he had some just this morning and it's his favorite, so I'm gonna make some in the morning with my new mocha espresso. Thank you, Sue. I love you.
we're home and we got to show you some things. Sarah's dancing like a fool while she's eating cheesecake. I got my birthday present, as you saw, from Sue. Her name is Susan B. Anthony. Her name is not Susan B. Anthony, but we call her Susan B. Anthony. Look at this. It's a mocha espress. So it's a coffee maker, but it's like makes it finer with finer grounds. It's more mocha-y. They have this coffee kind of sore friends in my coffee dictionary that you got me. So thank you. This is our current coffee maker. We've had it since we got married. It's a super nice Mr. Coffee. But guess what? It's hard to clean. I make too much coffee in it. And it's just not, doesn't fit our like forever kitchen style. And it's not fitting our like simplest, minimalist, simplest lifestyle. So that is going in the garbage. And that's gonna live there. Now look at that size difference. So that's a 12 pot that makes six. I never, I always make 10. I always throw away four at least. So six should be fine. If not, I can always make like half of it again. I'll show you tomorrow actually how the thing works because I'll make a pot tomorrow. I don't want to get geeky and scientific with it, but I'm literally about to throw this away right now. All right, I'm about to go to bed, but someone over here is a little midnight working bee yeah. working on someone's save the date, right? Mm -hmm. There's working away to first draft to Katie and Dustin's save the date. But before I go to bed with this little antsy chicken, she's so ready for bed. I want to show you the sweet little gifts that Alyssa and Matt got us. Which, who's for who, just take a guess. So this is Matt's favorite. It's like local to them, blueberry cobbler. I'm going to brew that tomorrow with my new percolator. This is a delicious smelling candle that I kind of want to start burning. That Capri Blue Volcano 606. And this is very Sarah's color. Yeah, it is so Disney Designer Collection ColourPop Luxe Lipstick, but it's Snow White. It's like a chic Snow White. So there's the candle. The coffee smells delicious. It smells just like blueberries. And I'll take this lipstick out of here so this is what that looks like oh it's got all different um princesses signatures i don't know where they're getting signatures from because these are not disney world signatures from the real princesses but uh, there is that color good like a what would you call it a burgundy? Yeah, deep red. A deep red burgundy. Well, it is 2.30. I am finally signing off. I feel like I was barely in the vlog today. Um, I just sent Katie the files to look over for her and Dustin's save the date. Um, it feels like really good to like work on a project like this like one it's meaningful um, because of their wedding um, but also I haven't had a project in a long time where time just like got away from me it's not really revolutionary by any means it's just to save the date um, but it is past 2 a.m. and I have not stayed up this late in a long time um, but yeah it just felt good to, to make and create and I don't know, I'm excited. Now, well, when this is posted, it'll be officially one year until their wedding. So that is pretty cool. I am going to go to bed now. I will see you all tomorrow. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.